Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining for our daily reading. Welcome back to all my beautiful people. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support of this channel, your likes, and your comments. If you're brand new, I welcome, welcome, welcome you. Uh, I could come across religious at times, but I'm absolutely not. Uh, I use my lineage language of um, the living word here of the Hebrew. And I also use runes and tarot cards for my readings. I do not put the sweet divine of the universe in a box. So anyway, that's who I am in a nutshell. And happy birthday to anyone who is um, celebrating today. And if you have an anniversary, I want to wish you well at, 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 with that as well. <laughs> anyway, and if you're new, I wake up with my audience. And it takes me a second for my brain to get kicked in. So we're waking up together or maybe you've already been awake for a while but anyway um, I'm waking up so let's go ahead and get focused here so today is the seventh everything breaks down to a five today and that's a change that's the hierophant energies so all kinds of stuff that's just society everybody's out and about most of the time on Saturdays and um, so I hope it's just fantastic for everyone divine what do you want to speak to us about today I bind and block all negative forces, and I thank you for the authority to bring forth the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We have the Shin coming up here, which is the 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and it's about teeth, chewing, things that are sharp, but it goes to wisdom. If we're looking at the spiritual sense, it's wisdom, chewing on things that are said to us. Now, uh, maybe you're dealing with teeth and stuff like that and you got toothaches and stuff like that I send you love and light be careful of you know um, chomping down on something uh, where your teeth are today for whatever reason why it's come through my spirit it is uh, I'm re being reminded of when I was uh, younger I took a carrot and I said what's up doc and I took a big old hard bite of that carrot and my tooth uh, came out and uh, <laughs> I can't remember if my tooth was already loose or not, but anyway, nonetheless, if you're having teeth problems, just be careful what you're chewing on today, because that's come through my spirit for somebody. This is about wisdom, though, and us literally having discernment before we make a move at something that's wise of us to do something like that. Um, so, the shin's coming out here. It's the S, or it's an S, um which is the 21st letter, like I said, but our S is the 19th letter. It's equivalent in our alphabet to the A and the J. We also have uh, the pictograph here looks like a W, okay? Um, but it also looks like an E. So person, place, or a thing, first, middle, or last name. The 21st letter of our alphabet would be uh, a U which is also equivalent to an L and a C as well. At the bottom of the deck, we have the GA, which is a G, a P, and a Y. This is the 23rd letter, though, and uh, we just hit that with the W there. So that's a twisted rope, and this is why we have to chew on words and thoughts that come through our spirit because there are things around you and I that dark energy wants to get us twisted up in things, conversations, uh, things that we're looking at that make us feel or move in a certain direction that, you know, we could get us all tied up and stuff. But anyway, so this is what's coming out for us to take a look at this morning. So there's a word, sugar. <laughs> And uh, there's no definition for it in the dictionary here. Um, but we're talking about teeth and something like that. Then sugar, you know, don't don't consume too much sugar because um, you get a cavity that way. So why that's coming out is really coming out really strong in my spirit today. So uh, watch your teeth. <laughs> now the word in the other direction is um, where'd it go? Or I just okay. It means haste uh, or being. Let's see. Hold on just a second. I don't know why I'm losing my. It's, this has to do with being hasty here, twisting and pressing. But it goes back to um, a symbol or being. So I'm trying to figure out 
I'm trying to listen and see what Spirit wants me to say about this because twisting, pressing, haste, a symbol. It also says ready here. Okay? And that's all it's given. Qu quickly doing something. Okay, it just goes back to what we were talking about. Really chewing on things and uh, spiritually. And, you know, let's go back to the sugar. <laughs> if somebody comes and it just sounds really sweet and it's just too good to be true. Okay, you need to sit there and chew and chew and chew. And get some understanding. And just because something feels good or looks good or tastes good, just in a moment, it could turn sour in your mouth or something like that or be something rotten for you later and you really have to learn some type of a letter hastiness does us no good okay so anyway this one's coming out here for us let's go ahead and see what the divine wants to bring out on this energy so um total vibration here is at eight things maybe things coming to the surface that some people have not dealt with needing to heal something here that has already been dark the eight is about strength and personal power when you and I do chew on stuff and the eight is things that hold things back and, and then they have to come to the surface and some people are still finding themselves in reoccurring energies that you have not been able to break out of you've just been chewing 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 but yet have not found an answer and uh, you've just been really finding yourself in really deep types of dark energy. That's for you to, to take a look at and face something. You and I, when we get those things that resurface and it's just like, oh my gosh, here it is again. Well, it's because obviously we didn't heal from that. Healing must take place before we're able to move forward. we got to deal with the matter, Okay. We we gotta we gotta look at the darkness before we can see the true light and get out of something that's been ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Even the rope has like an eight type of a energy looking thing with it, and it's connected to darkness. Okay, it's also connected to um, those twisted goat horns. That's a devil energy that wants to get into your mind and get you all twisted up. And uh, you gotta look at it. The eighth house is a dark house in the zodiac okay um but we learn there we go through the dark night of the soul so that we can grow up and chew on things and have understanding and move forward and um have a resurrection so you gotta you gotta be able to look at the um situation and deal with it can't suppress it and suppress it and suppress it and we've all done that but the divine's bringing this through my spirit of I'm hearing just healing. It's time for healing. And understanding does heal us. It sets us free. It liberates us. Excuse me for just a second, guys. What do you want to bring out here about this, please, Divine? If you're looking at vehicles today, don't be hasty and just, you know, take your time for whoever that's for. So we have, okay, so the, here's the hasty card that's coming out. The Knight of Wands is the in and out, in and out, in and out. This card has a meaning of being hasty, okay, not checking the details, okay. And if you are dealing with past issues where you didn't, the Divine is bringing this out here to remember and to look at what's taking place and learn from that place, okay. Uh, this is a very independent card, and so once we deal with dark issues that come to the surface, then we can move on because it's also a departure card, traveling forward, okay? And uh, it's a very passionate card. We'll, we'll be able to take action, and uh, it's spiritual energy there. We've got the lover's card at the bottom, okay, which is positive. These are people who are supposed to be in our life. These are true soulmates and partnerships and unions to get in harmony with, okay? So, like I said, whether you're dealing with past hasty energy or you come across something that just moves you in such a way because this is a real, uh, just kind of like a 
hot type, ooh, <laughs> that feels good, you look good type of energy. And that's fine dandy. I mean, if, if you have honed this back, then that's positive you can move forward once you deal with things uh, and understand that you've chewed on something and then you take this energy and move forward. That's a friendly energy. And it is being coupled up with the um, lover's card. Uh, but like I said, if we don't slow down, we get the devil card in that energy because the dark energy is still showing itself here. Making decisions today without being hasty is really coming out really strong. I love that lover's card um, picture there. It's nice. Yep, because there's the devil card. <laughs> okay, because that's karma stuff that represents karmic activity with the devil. Soulmates also that we don't have no control uh, uh, you know past stuff, if it's coming to the surface, the, it, then we got to deal with the karma that we're finding ourselves in. Hold on just a second here. Put that down a little bit for you guys to see the table a little bit better. So the devil is showing up in a very big, big way. At the bottom of the deck, we have the empress. Okay, well the empress is beautiful inside and out. And she's got the um, justice skills within her. And she knows how to, you know, be mutual. Even if there's open enemies. She's connected to the seventh house. And that is about open enemies. Okay. We've got... I mean, I just did a... <laughs> I just did a reading yesterday about both of these. Now, the rider weight, they look the same. But the angel's over one of them and the devil's over the other. Okay, and the devil wants to come and appear a certain way to you that, yeah, this is the right relationship or, yes, this is the right deal uh, or whatever it is, you know, and get you up in contracts that you can't afford your bills. Okay, because of hastiness, hastiness, needing to slow down and uh, take our time. This would represent Father Time. Okay, this is somebody's being tested today or had been or dealing with things from the past. Okay, or chewing on things from the past and getting things weighed out with the Empress energies here. Or need to, like I said. Um, it's coming up really, really strong. The Empress is also connected to business and stuff just like the boss. Saturn represents the boss. If you're dealing with bosses and things like that that maybe get you all flared up. <laughs> you just don't, don't get hasty with that. Um... I really feel like somebody's really healing things from past issues and balancing out the scales. The Empress would be able, in the upright, to be able to defeat this devil energy regardless of what it is. That's the dark horn, the dark twisted horns right here on his head. Okay, so we're being shown here to go slow in projects with family because we got family showing itself right here actually in all three of these cards both those are soulmates but one is really toxic soulmates and the other are people who are supposed to be in your life we're dealing with past life stuff with that eight with pluto energy and we got to deal with it we got to heal from that place and let it, let it come to the surface and look at it for whatever it is. Chew on it and then just completely transmute that energy today. And look at it with truth. The Empress represents truth. So she's got those justice. She'd be really, really just in her decisions. Look at that. It's beautiful. The Two of Cups is coming up here. And we've got the Eight of Cups at the bottom. Which make ten cups. Yes. After you allow certain things to come to the surface. And you realize. I made an investment here. And it is what it is. Okay. Uh, it just didn't work out. I'm going to get up. And I'm going to take a new journey now. Because I understand what the karmic process was. And this hastiness that, that has been in the past. And things that I didn't chew on. And got up in this dark. You know. Ridiculous stuff with this devil and now I'm gonna I know what I want I know what I need to do I'm abandoning all those emotions that don't serve 
uh, in you know you me or my family or whatever and I'm gonna go get not just my wish fulfillment but the other cup that goes with my cup and um, be happy that's that's complete fulfillment especially with the Empress the Empress has an Emperor okay I'm getting out of any kind of confusion here <clears throat> Somebody's making a decision today. And somebody's really over the top also um, attracted to somebody. But it's the right attraction. They know it. We've got a blessed union and the two of cups. That's positive. There's a new beginning here abandoning all these cups here that just don't serve us. Something's been really emotional and toxic. But this would be a victory with the Empress energies. Like I said, that devil would not get one over on the Empress at all. This real toxic stuff here. When you don't check the details, this is what we get, the devil. So there's decisions. There's the two of swords, and that is being a stalemate. Okay, well, actually, I'm reading this card as set there for a second. Okay, but don't sit there too long. Don't take too much time with this devil energy in the upright. It, it is Father Time is what it represents. And sometimes when you have to be patient, it seems like devilish energies around you. Like, oh my God, come on now type of energy. And that's what stillmate energy also uh, can represent. But it also represents confusion. And if you get in this place of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with this night of uh, Juan's energy, you're going to get confused there. Um, got to take your time and look, got to be led forth by peace for one thing. There's no other way to be led forth. If, if, you're, if you're really figuring out something to do with your home life or career or committing to a love or something like that and you've been withdrawn you 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 know been hiding yourself to think about something but you've been there way too long it's time to come out of that and make the decision it's time to move on it's showing or it's showing itself um it's some people have already let things come to the surface and dealt with them but there's energies that i'm feeling this morning of um Maybe having to communicate about the devil stuff because it's been really dark. The Three of Swords. Somebody got the heartbreak really bad. And there's five swords here, and that was hidden agendas. Well, we got the devil here. Let's just see some outcome cards. Where to see outcome here is the Two of Cups. Uh, when you make the decision. So we have the, the lover's card, the decision. The two of uh, cups is seeing eye to eye. But it's also a two. It's still decisions. And then we see the two of swords, decisions. Okay. Chewing on things that have been really dark and confusing. But having understood. Oh, that wants to come out. Okay. Well, then come on out. Okay. And there's the five of cups. Obviously, we just seen the three of swords there. Let's see some outcome cards today. So we already know there's been devilish dark stuff that the divine saying, look at it, deal with it. Can't move forward until you do. Can't do, you can't. You and I cannot move forward until we heal from that place. It's going to continue to keep coming back until you face it. What's, what's outcome energies for us today, please divine? Thank you. A message. Yeah, and this is the this type of energy that we need 
to go slow with the new opportunity. Okay. Um, the page of pentacles, the pages bring good news when we slow down and we're studious and uh, we study and like chewing on stuff and knowing that we got to be practical. There's still time coming out here, but it's coming out in a real sweet form. This is self-disciplined energy and something that's hard working. Well, the hard taskmaster is here, but it's also coupled up with the empress because Saturn, you can't separate that energy from itself that also is the world energy if you pass the test it has rewards you get your ten of cups you turn around you take these two cups from whatever's taking place okay and deal with the matter get over it go through your dark night of the soul and turn around and move forward and there's there's ten whole cups that will be waiting for you Somebody's been sitting here crying over spilt milk for a long time or really just been in their mind about the past and what do I do and what do I do and how do I deal with this and I'm confused now and I'm just back and forth, back and forth with this energy and I didn't check the details and I didn't do this or I should have, you should have, would have, could have. Okay, all you can do is get up now and walk away. Okay, find your balance today. Go slow. Make up your mind. Uh, look in your own mirror, say this happened and this didn't happen. I said this, I didn't say this and, and move forward. And if, you know, if it's possible for you to make amends with somebody, then make amends. The divine's really been bringing that out in a very big, big way. There's the hermit. Yes. Going slow, going within. Uh, it's, but this is showing it's time to speak. Hermit's coming out of his closet here to speak. He's been in there a long time. Look. We've got somebody really old and something really young, okay? Don't throw away old things either. They've got character and wisdom to them, but don't shun the new things that want to come as well and build from that place whatever this has been for you. The devilish karmic activity that's tried to block you from moving forward. It's time to um, heal get in he's got the lantern we've got something dark here we can't see the light till we see the darkness first and go through it be nurturing the empress represents somebody who's nurturing what else do you want to bring out here for outcome cards please today divine thank you oh we got the um we got the um that's beautiful. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Temperance card. We got the uh, the Ace of Coins yesterday, and we got the Tower, and we got needing to be patient. It's a patient card, and the Tower is coming down here, laying down our pride, knowing what to do. Okay, this is being struck down from the Divine. So that we can put a new pentacle in the ground and be fresh and new. The page has the pentacle in his hand. We got the two of cups here and the angel that alchemizes the two of cups. This is a healer. Both these energies are healers. They go back to, to, to Chiron and... Um, the pentacle is about healing as well. Spiritual healing, natural healing, social healing, something's very profitable here. We got, we got a lot of business as well coming out here. The hermit can go back to business. We got the boss here. Okay. If something took place on your boss, on your job with your boss and something hasn't been satisfying and you're walking away to something there's the two of cups right there which the two of cups is also right here within the five of cups looking up and taking them making that decision to move forward a brand new job opportunity is here for some of you all 
if you if you lost your job and you you really went through a really dark night of the soul because of it because of whatever co-workers or got mixed up maybe with the boss or something like that the divine say it's time to move on from some things not just your job but home life is here legal matters are here things that got twisted along the way it's time to heal for them from them face them if you don't um if you and I don't face that kind of stuff, like I said, it, it, you know, in its time, it'll come back and it'll come back up to the surface and you'll be like, why do I always find myself in the same freaking place all the time? It's because you didn't deal with the situation. You didn't chew on something. You were too hasty. If you and I find ourselves in those places, we're too hasty if it comes back that, that way. I always have relationships with like this or I always get into this type of a situation well it's because you haven't learned the lesson yet you keep having to go back around it's karmic activity time to get up chew on things and move forward and um, get out of bitterness for one thing there's some people just sit there in bitterness they ruin themselves but there's a brand new opportunity here showing itself there's aha moments. There's a lot of wisdom here. The Empress represents wisdom. She got all four queens within her. We got the Hermit and the Temperance energy. This reconciliation as well. Uh, both these energies, both these houses go to um, being a healer and having wisdom and being a guru and having the higher mind. And then we've got the tower here and uh, the 11th house is about genius stuff and knowing things. And we do know. We do know. It's time to, re for some of you, it's time to rebuild uh, again. Like I said, it's just showing itself. But this positive, we have the lower version of the sun. And this is something extremely tangible today. A brand new beginning. So this is what the divine brought out. Um, just a good reminder not to be hasty. Be balanced. Don't invest in things just on an emotional <laughs> feeling. Sensual stuff. Get ourselves in trouble. Because there are people that are supposed to be in our life. And people there only to test us. And those type of people want to come and tempt you. Take a big hard look today at this devil. These people are tied together down here. It's a really hard tie to get out of. Don't be hasty. We got the devil sitting right next to the hasty card. So we got really slow moving energy with energy that's really fast and in and out. And the emperor shows us to be balanced. Pass the test. Go slow. She's holding a baby here. And when babies are born, we have, you know, so much foresight for them in the future. But we know that it takes, uh, you know, years and years and years for them to mature where they need to go. we got to be practical in our decision making. Something brand spanking new is going to take time to grow to empress and emperor energies. So, heal today. Deal with what you got to deal with. Go through your dark night of the soul and face the light and come into it. Be set free and go get your tip cups. Because it's waiting for you. And some of you all, it's time for you. <laughs> this, it is time to move forward. You've already healed. It's time to speak. Shalom.